Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and tonight is the first in our mini-series of repairing the snapper. Uh, I've had a lot of emails on replacing the boots, how important are they really, do we really need them, uh, replacing the clutch, getting the wheel hubs off, so we're going to do videos on just one thing at a time and try to make them a little easier to follow and a little more informative. So like I said, tonight is the boots. So let's show you how to take these off and replace them. It's really not that hard. If you have to replace both of them, you're going to have to pull the chain case off. Now that sounds bad, but it's not really. Let me wiggle you up here. Vibrate you around a little bit. There, I want to get this down a little bit lower. So the first thing you want to do is take your tire off. I don't have the tires on. Next thing you want to do is you take this nut off of this bolt. Now you're going to have to tap this with probably, I use a nylon hammer so I don't hurt the threads. But these bolts have a tapered head on them and they, they get wedged in there pretty good. Then your wheel hub will come off. Now if yours is rusted on and it's stuck, one of the videos that will be coming up will be showing you how to get this off so you can reuse it. Take your plastic dust shield off, if you have one. Next thing you want to do is we're going to take, take the boots loose from the chain case. These are awfully hard to get on because they're cut in half. So I, I don't really want to take both ends off. Then so we're going to take the other end off the chain case. Now the next thing you want to do to your chain case, if you have to change this boot, if not, all you have to deal with is this side. Let's do this side first. You got six bolts out here. Take them out. That's what holds your fender on. Now the fender and the bushing should slide right off. Then if you have any shims, you'll have to take them off. I had a lot of side play in this one, so I had to make a thick one to take up all the room. Next thing you have to take off is your hexagon thrust washer. That hexagon goes inside your hexagon shaft. Now if this is the only one you got to replace, you're half done. Put the new boot on. Clamp it to the chain case, put the fender on, put it back together. If you have to take the other one off, keep working. Right here is a bolt that holds the linkage onto the chain case. That's what shifts it. You want to take that nut off. Now depending if you have a two pedal or a one pedal machine, is where your cables are going to be hooked. If you have a two pedal machine, one cable is hooked back in here that activates your clutch. The other pedal, the cable will come down and it'll hook to this brake like I have. And these, I'll tell you, are the best kind of brakes if you have one. It's a band brake instead of this little goofy shoe brake inside of here. Okay, you got your Pull your linkage off. Now right here there's a nut and a bolt that goes through they call this a bushing, a bearing but it's actually a, just a plastic bushing and this goes through your uh, through your yoke. Now you can push your yoke down and get it out of the way 
and your chain case should slide right off. You've got to wiggle this stem out of your slot. Your chain case will come right off. Now you can take the, your remaining clamp off and replace your boot. Now there's a couple different boots. I've got some old ones over here and they are greasy. You can notice there's two different styles here. <clears throat> now if you end up with two of these, with this one with the long end, this one typically goes on this side of your chain case. If you put it on this side, I had a viewer email me and tell me that he put new boots on my machine and after I did that I can't shift it into fifth gear. Well I think he's got the one on this side with the extended end and it won't let the chain case slide over far enough for him to get into fifth gear. So if that's the case he'll have to switch them around. Now once you got your your new boot slid on the shaft. You can wiggle your chain case back on. Get that stem back in that slot. Takes a little wiggling, but it'll go on. Then, uh, let's see, you want your hexed hole thrust washer in your hex shaft, your spacers, however many you had on there, get them back on. Then you can put your fender back on. Put them six bolts back in. Now as you get these started, don't tighten one up until you get all six of them in and started. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble getting the rest of them in. And you want to stick your brake band back around your hub. Get your linkage back in there. Get your brake band back on. Then you've got a washer. Got a lock washer. And you got a self-locking nut. You got to get that back on there. Now sometimes they'll screw on and tighten up, and other times they won't. If it doesn't, you'll have to get yourself a 7 16 wrench and slip it up in on the back side next to the linkage. This stud that sticks out is hex shaped for a wrench. Hold that and then you can tighten this nut up. You may need that to get the nut off. Mine comes right off because I've had this apart so many times. I don't have to worry about that. Put the bolt back through the yoke, put your yoke bearing, yeah, it's not really a bearing, but that's what they call it. Put that back in, there's a large hole on this side, and put your self-locking nut back on. You'll need two wrenches to get yours on and off. And sometimes they don't want to start real good. There we go. And tighten them up. Now you don't want to over tighten these because that's just a plastic bushing. You don't want to bust it. Just snug them up. That's it. And to get your boots back on, these are extre extremely hard to put on because I cut them in half. So I'm going to put you on hold while I try to get these goofy things on. I'll be right back. All right, I finally got them half boots on there. Now I want to show you what I was talking about, about that boot 
with the extended end. I'm going to shift this into reverse. Now see how loose this is, how much room you still have for that extra end? Now I'll put it in fifth. Now you can see how compact this is. It's, it's bunched up as tight as it can get and still allow it to get into fifth gear. So if you put that boot on this side with the extended end, you're not going to be able to shift this into fifth. So make sure you put it on this side. Then you can put your plastic dust cap back on and this typically does have a hose clamp around it to keep it from coming off. Put your wheel hub back on. Now keep in mind one side of this wheel hub has a larger hole than the other side does. That's for that tapered head. That goes through the large hole first. Get these things together, you just got to wiggle everything. That nut on, put your tire on, the three bolts for the tire, you're done. That side, you don't have to take tire off. You don't have to do anything to that side. Now, I hope this was a little easier to follow. I did it pretty fast, but I didn't want to make a long video. I want to try to keep them short, but it's it's really a pretty simple job. When you get this all put back together, just remember to hook up your cable for your brake, and you're done. Now, if you have a one-pedal machine, your cable is going to hook up here in the front that activates the clutch and this little brake shoe in here. If you have any questions, you need any more help, send me an email. I'd be more than happy to help you out. I'll put my email in the description below like I always do. And uh, I guess that's it. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you soon.